Back to Turner Falls for more trout. Here's the uh, view of the entrance to Turner Falls. Going right into the another view. We've gone through the main gate and now we're going in, uh, headed to the first water crossing. I'll speed up the film here. Here's the first water crossing. There's a view of the river. Make a little turn. Come up to the second water crossing here shortly. And there it is. And then uh, come to a Y in the road. You'll make a left into the parking area. And you're pretty much you can park along this whole way. We're the only ones there. So good stuff. Had the river to ourselves for a good two hours before anyone else showed up. And you can see the water is much clearer. Here's a strike here. And uh, like we were uh, saying, the water is much clearer. Uh, and then we also noticed that uh, they tended to strike more on the uh, olive near deer than the white near deer. So most of our catches today were on the uh, olive one. There's a view of uh, another trout. I'm just going to notice that um, how clear the water is. Also notice that we haven't moved from this spot. So most of our catches, uh, at least in this uh, set of um, video clips, is going to be basically from standing in the same spot the whole time. Uh, so here's another one. And we ended up getting uh, a couple of uh, nice sized ones that were bigger than we normally get um, from this pool. Uh, and then we got a, a good amount of smaller ones. And we're just working the indicator, just paying attention to the indicator going under or not, and setting the hook when we need to. There's another one getting ready to come in. So last week it rained. Uh, this week uh, it didn't. And so the water levels and the water flow was uh, much different than last week. Uh, but uh, what was nice was how clear the water was. You could you could see the the trout where they were lurking in the uh, pockets and pools and uh, different areas. So it's good to see that. Also was able to um, uh, see them take the fly or at least a uh, strike at the fly. So uh, that was pretty good too. And like we were saying earlier, we had the place for uh, about a good two hours before anyone else showed up. And then another fly fisherman showed up. And uh, there were two of us there for um, pretty much most of the morning for uh, we saw a couple of other fly fishermen. And then uh, the rest of the day, uh, folks were streaming in there. Mainly sightseers coming to see the waterfall. But we did uh, uh, notice that uh, later in the day, we did see uh, a good amount of folks fishing in the waterfall area um, uh, going for some trout. And we got some video of, of uh, some of the action in the waterfall area uh, later at the uh, tail end of this clip. Here's another one that uh, fell for the olive near deer. And again, we haven't moved from this spot. Uh, we like it, and uh, apparently the trout like it. So therefore, we, we like it even more. <laughs> And last week, since the water flow was uh, much stronger, uh, it was a little bit different in uh, being able to find them to the net. Uh, in this case, this is one of our bigger ones also. And uh, we ended up uh, getting this one uh, in the net and making sure we didn't, uh, we didn't slip through our fingers. We've, we've lost several that way, so better make sure so we grab the net. And uh, here he is. This is another one, but it's a smaller one. And then here's a, another larger one. Ended up uh, getting some good ones out of this group. Now, this is further down river. We're working a little pool and saw three of these guys kind of hovering in this one pool or pocket and able to get this to take. And then we noticed a, a big guy lurking and spent a good while trying to get him to go for our fly and apparently he didn't want it. Had him uh, actually look at our fly for about, oh, about ten times. And even had it uh, nudge it with its nose uh, at one point, and we could see the uh, uh, movement on the line, but uh, just didn't want to uh, strike. Uh, what we did notice, and while we were trying to catch this guy, were a fair amount that were all around him, uh, uh, and we were we were catching those off and on throughout uh, throughout the morning. So it was good uh, trying to get a big one, but at the same time, it was also good to keep the action going with uh, some of the smaller ones uh, taking our fly. Not sure how big he went, but uh, he's definitely bigger than the ones we caught today, e even the largest that we caught, which went about, uh, oh, about 14 inches. Uh, here's a good view of how clear the water is. 
And then here we're back up at the waterfall checking things out. We decided to uh, do some waiting and see if we can get uh, into where the trout were. And so this uh, this uh, set of video, um, we let it uh, uh, run a little bit longer just to show you how they're picking up. We took the indicator off and we're pretty much doing short retrieve, similar to what we did on the Blue River um, when they were wanting uh, uh, basically a five to six count. Uh, in this case, we were doing a 10 count to let the uh, fly sink down, and then we'd start our, our short retrieve. And then uh, sometimes we'd, we'd actually see the, the trout, three or four, chasing it, and we'd just slow our retrieve down just a little and just kind of glide it through the water, and we'd get a, get a hit that way. You can see a lot of the sightseers on the walkway checking out the waterfall. We were busy going for some fish. There's another one that's taking and he even went aerial on us so that's good stuff. No bruisers here but um, still great, a lot of fun catching these guys. Again uh, we're using that short pull. We can feel them take or we'll see the line tighten and we'll set the hook. So these are what we're, we're catching and what we videotape. We caught a lot more as well than what we videotaped as well as uh, released a lot more than what we kept. Stayed with the uh, five fish limit that they have in the park but um, just guesstimating probably 40 plus fish uh, caught that day. And here's another one of those. Here we're slowing up the retreat just a little bit. We're having to wait a little bit uh, longer. Uh, for some reason, things kind of slowed down. Um, we were getting it on almost on every cast uh, earlier, and now it's uh, about every three or four casts. But still, uh, things were keeping us busy with the uh, trout hooking, um, being able to hook up with some trout. Here's a view of the waterfall. There's another one on the line. So we did this. Uh, we, we we had three in the in the creel. We ended up keeping one of these here that was a little bit larger, and then we went to go look for one more big one somewhere else, and found this pocket, and was able to get our last and final fish this round. And this one um, was like the, uh, the the first two uh, larger ones that we had caught earlier. Nice rounded bodies, a lot of meat, fat, uh, really, really good to eat too. Ended up uh, cooking them for dinner that evening. Went with a plank, uh, cooked them on a plank and uh, over coals and turned out really good. There he is. Not bad. So there's today's catch. One, two, three. All right, here's uh, today's catch. Ended up catching five. You can see they're uh, a lot rounder than what we normally have been catching. So uh, really good stuff. So next time we'll catch y'all later and good luck and good fish.